I want to have fun. I was on the in the flight here for three hours just clapping. You got to do this. So funny. Do you have visuals in your head? Uh-oh. I'm imagining like a garage sale. I feel like a boss. I love that I said, don't offend me. And then what, like 10 seconds? <laughs> Zara Larson. Hello. How are you? Great. How are you? I feel like I'm you've had like amazing. such a whirlwind last couple of weeks. I'm great. I'm amazing. You're like I feel um, inspired. Mm -hmm. I feel excited. I feel energetic. All the good things, All honestly. All adjectives I've heard you describing 2023. Uh-huh. And I sexier hope it's going to... for 2023. Sexier. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Confidence. Absolutely. Confidence. All of that. Um, I want to have fun. Mm -hmm. And I want to be living the best life i love it i love that yeah. you can literally watch can't tamer the music video too and uh -huh. i mean that, that radiates it you know i totally. i want to delicately ask you about this stuff because i don't want to ask you things you've been asked a thousand times <laughs> but can't tame her if you haven't heard it uh -huh. i mean it's kind of a smash like you hear kind it you smash. hear the first 10 seconds and you're like okay i already know i gotta dance this. yeah it's one of those yeah it's true you gotta do this so funny st <laughs> one more time <laughs> yes <laughs> boom yeah uh i i first was listening to it Mm -hmm. And I was going, why does this, what does this remind me of? I know, of? right? No, 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 no. I'm not going to take the 80s route. I'm not going to surprise you a little bit. And I was like, there was a song that came out last year that was one of my favorite tracks of the year. Is it? Better Days. It was Mae Muller, the singer on it. Uh-huh. But it was produced by Mother. Oh, yeah. And Is I was, it? And I, I remember hearing that song, and I love Mae, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but I'm like, me too. Zara's voice too. could be on this. Uh-huh. Is and it? And then when I heard your track, and then I started to do the research, I You're saw like, the wait. mother was behind it. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. And that you, is MN, so interesting. Uh, MNK again, too. Yeah. I don't forget yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. Of course, heard about that of course, of course, of course. No, that's, yeah, I, I love them. I feel like they're going to be, be really big. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, they're Swedish, too. Mm -hmm. So it's like we were, we were in there for, you know, I worked with them many times. Yeah. And I think they'll definitely have a few tracks on the upcoming album. Sure. But they're so talented yeah. and just really good guys to work with and hang out with. Production duo, by the way. Production We're, duo, it, it, yeah. yeah. You're going to know about Kian them. Kian and Carl, MTHR, absolutely. MTHR. Yeah. How it's yeah. Like them yeah. yeah, yeah. So they might have a couple tracks on the album. Mm -hmm. I, I've heard you say the, the album's outlined, you know. Yeah. We're, we're basically done, but we're mixing it's not done until it's done it's not done until it's you know? done you know i got a song sent to me totally second. i got a song sent to me a mm -hmm. couple of days ago actually uh -oh. and uh, uh oh uh -oh. <laughs> no it was great yeah. it was amazing and like i didn't write it obviously but i was just like wow this is incredible and when you get those songs mm -hmm. I'm never too proud to take a song that I didn't write. Like sure. I think of myself first and foremost as a, as a performer and an entertainer. And then I love to write. I think it's amazing to be in the studio, but I I'm honored and I'm really happy when people send through stuff and think of me for it. Sure. And if it's great, then I'll take it. Yeah. You know, I didn't write symphony. I didn't write uh, lush life. There's a few songs that are one of my like favorite songs that yeah. I didn't write. But well, there's I mean, still, you know, such a big identity uh, as as an artist. I love I love that, and that's something I feel like the U.S. struggles with sometimes is this fear of people won't appreciate it as much if they didn't write it. You know, mm -hmm. everyone wants to be the song singer songwriter kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And there's there's no shame in saying someone else wrote this incredible song totally. and I get to lend no, my. I would to never because I know some artists out there and I know they don't write. Like, I know they don't write. <laughs> We're not and naming they names, might, but and yeah. they might have like a percentage of it. Sure, because you know they were in the room. <laughs> Not even. Oh. They just take a percentage. Zara has receipts <laughs> is what she's saying. Because they're, you know, big artists. So they say like, hey, I want a cut of the song mm -hmm. if I'm going to sing it, sure. which is fine, you know. But then they would speak about it as if they like write songs. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's fine if you don't. You can just I drew be... inspiration <laughs> from this drive on PCH on a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. But I do like to write. And yeah. I think if it does feel sometimes m a bit more special but i'm not really fuzzy about that personally yeah. i think it's whatever if it's it, it, if it's a, it's a good song it's a good song you know sometimes it might even cloud your um your mind a little bit like wow is this really a good song or do i just feel that i have a such a strong personal connection to sure, it you, don't you know it You're like, this is mine i got it or just like album. do is it really good or is it just like I wrote about something that really affected me in this period of life. Sure. And like, I feel like it's a good song when in reality, maybe it's not. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. But to Can't Tame Her is definitely a good yeah. song. It is yeah. definitely a good song. <laughs> and speaking of some of these massive songs that you didn't write, but you're on, yeah. Lush Life, yeah. uh, Symphony, you own? I do. <laughs> you own mm -hmm. your masters. What's up? 
That is yes, yes, so yes, huge. <laughs> and I don't care how many interviews you've done where you've talked about no, it. I please. need to give you your accolades. No, totally. Do you I... remember deciding? Like, was there a moment you're like, I need to get my catalog at some point? I don't know when. I don't know how. I don't know when I'm going to get the money. You know what? I never thought it would happen because yeah. usually it's, it's, it's a rarity for it to happen, especially um, like I have been able to acquire them right now in my career. I was signed to a Swedish label. Yeah that then licensed uh, through Sony. Sure. And uh, what basically happened was that the Swedish label wanted to sell, you know, all their, the company, mm-hmm. essentially. They were just selling their assets. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like they were, the the, the, the person who, um, who ran it is getting to a point in his life where he's like, I've done music now. Like he's 80 years old, yeah. you know, he's been in the game, he's a legend. And uh, I was just like, that would be cool to yeah. own them, you know? Go I'm imagining like yeah. a garage sale. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you have like yeah. signs of different artists and you're like, hey, right. I mean, yeah. it was great working with you and if it's up for grabs, Totally, you know, yeah, and he for... was very down for that awesome. because he didn't want another, you know, like Taylor Swift incident. Yeah, it can get tricky and it doesn't have to be. It, it doesn't, doesn't have to be and he just wanted to like, let's do it at, it the nice way mm-hmm. you know so, so you basically bought the licensing agreement i, I got yeah exa- mm. kind of maybe no so uh i bought like yeah i bought like their share of the contract and so i'm still up, you exactly yeah. yeah so um the majority of it like for me now is it just feels like because it's not even for me right now it might be for my kids and it's it's an investment you know you're 100 percent right but the the stream of income is like so much higher now and then i just know that it's in my name and Mm -hmm. then in a few years you know i'll own all the masters 100 percent, and all the copyright and all the just know every every song that i've been a part of and uh, i'm just so lucky that i have great people people around me like i didn't do these by my like these contracts by myself um or by myself and it took a long time it took a couple of years a few years for sure to really reach that agreement and um yeah just everyone on board is happy sony's happy i'm happy it's the best and um it's a it's a really cool deal to like release something from because you know now when i release stuff it's like summer house (laughs) your label label. shout out yeah (laughs) Yeah. it's really nice i feel like a boss (laughs) <laughs> you yeah. should you yeah. ask i mean you are literally i mean but yeah so when this deal goes through i just think it's funny because uh, until the taylor swift thing happened in the news uh-huh. a lot of people didn't know what it really meant yeah. like owning your masters yeah. owning your your licensing agreements and and everything in between the copyrights mm-hmm. and whatnot mm-hmm. the day that the deal's done i'm imagining in my head someone with like one of those black briefcases with like a, a handcuff around it <laughs> yeah. and they hand it to you and it's that's your library uh-huh. but that, there's nothing tangible it's just no. they, it's like a hard drive maybe yeah, or it's just yeah, like yeah, a paper yeah. like something in the prove clouds. it yeah i own it yeah <laughs> how no, cool would that be though if like james bond know, delivered right? your, your oh, i would love that yeah. a little briefcase <laughs> no it feels it feels really good and also actually especially for the songs that i didn't write mm-hmm. funny enough because you do have some ownership or like copyright of the songs that you wrote sure. but let's say like lush life um or symphony or uncover any of like my earlier songs mm-hmm. that again i feel like is such a big part of my identity you as an artist so much time with these songs totally and now i know like no one can just do anything like the writers can't do it's like the pretty, so they free. can't just be like yeah cool we're gonna we're gonna have this song like maybe in 10 years drake want to sample it yeah. and i'm like yeah. hold up right you know, I don't like, think we're saying it, no to Drake. That's just an example. You know, just, just wanna, if you know, if, if he's song, watching, he's very, just, you're, you, you can do that, Drake. Mm-hmm. I will, you can do that. Speaking yeah. of creative control, yeah, um, I know you've been having a lot of hands in your visuals and your music videos and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You had your collection with H and M a couple years back. Yeah. Are there any other mediums that you're dying to get your hands on? Ooh, good question. Um, I think no. I mean, honestly like what's coming up for me i would love to be even more involved okay. in like the visual sure part um we'll love to do acting gonna go into that and then just really because i love film and like i love just to make i have sometimes even an easier time to understand film than music like i can picture it in a completely different way yeah. and it's almost like you know it goes hand in hand with writing, I would say, sure. to create a world. Um, 
So I would love to do some more of that. Maybe like direct, you know, my own videos. Because I've always been like, oh, well, maybe I can't do that. But I really do think. The imposter syndrome starts to set in. It's like, no, I can't do this. 100%. Right? I can yeah. do this. I can. When so you're writing music, are you, do you have visuals in your head? Like, is that popping in when you're in a, those writing mm, rooms or not really? Or is that more of an after? It depends on. Sometimes when I've been working on this album, I've worked a lot with Rick Knowles. And he like expects me to show up prepared yeah. he's like you should have your titles you should have your oh, wow. already yeah, like, on everything like yeah you should have you should be like you should have maybe a couple of lines or sure. something that inspired you and that usually i just show up to the studio and i'm like mm, <laughs> what's what up feel? yeah literally and he's like he's not no. he's not tolerating that yeah he expects me to like be prepared which is good to have that it's actually great yeah. he pushes me it's intimidating but it's it's great yeah but like i actually feel like it, it was really nice to have that, you know, like you can do better, like you can do better, like we can do better than this. And um, sometimes, yeah, when I do have a concept, sure. I can see this, you know, video or story in my head. But then sometimes you create, you create it as you're, as you're going, as you're, yeah, writing it. Um, so I guess it really depends on what I really like. Uh, you and I talked both early in our, mm -hmm. both of our careers, respectfully, mm -hmm. and I've been following along since, you know, Lush Life, since Symphony mm -hmm. and, and Never Forget You and whatnot. And you always push yourself just a little bit further with each one. Right. And what I really like, and I learned Thanks. this recently, that you're pushing yourself outside of music too. Yes. Helicopter license. Yeah. I'm learning to fly too. <laughs> Yay! So what's up? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not rotor. I'm doing a uh, fixed wing. Oh, so, no. Yeah, but I got my private pilot's license. Congratulations. Thank you. So I, let's I'm get nerdy like with it. I want to talk to you about <laughs> flying because yes, we got the music out of the way. Yes, Can't Tame Her is a uh -huh. bop. The new album's coming out before the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, Scroll yeah. Scroll you know. that for a second. <laughs> let's talk about flying a freaking helicopter. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. I just think it's... It's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Yeah. I started off wanting to fly airplanes and... Um, Careful. Mm. I'm an airplane guy, so mm. don't offend me. <laughs> what, is it too easy? Is that it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I love that I said, don't offend me. And then what, like 10 you seconds? You said it. You said it. <laughs> so, okay. So for anyone that just like real quick breakdown, helicopters, you're constantly doing something. Exactly. You don't stop. right? And like, it fits my brain really well yeah. because I'm the type of person who needs to be constantly stimulated. Sure. Like I, and, 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 and that's the beauty of it. And I feel like you almost end up in a meditative state. Like you're always doing something, mm -hmm. but it keeps me activated sure. you know what i mean yeah. and um i just have like a lot of adhd and i feel like it it, it just f it just fit me better right. um you you can't go as as far or as high up sure so, so it's like definitely you can fly from like burbank to van nuys i'll see you in new york you know what yeah, I mean? exactly what's up <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? After I'm done with this, oh, I would then actually you're gonna come for me. Okay, I would cool. love to do airplanes yeah. too. I think it's just something that um, is so far from music, and it's not, you know, something really creative. It's something you need to study for oh, and yeah. you need to learn. It's not like, oh, well, you know, it says that you should do this, but I'm thinking it's I maybe very should do that. Type A. Yeah. Uh, you can't stray no, away. No. What I liked about a person that drew me to yeah. it is. You know, I work in music, I work in film, I work in TV. Uh huh. Yeah, you can put in a thousand hours. I could still be a nobody See? or I could have everything. See? But for flight, you put in a hundred hours, you, you got it. that license. You get as long it. as you're That's studying and you're say. working for it. Yeah. You know, you can be in the studio for a hundred hours and you might get a good song. Right. But like if you do like a hundred hours, you most likely will get your license. Unless and it's just <laughs> You know, Not but jinx you. you most likely, you most likely will. Yes. And, um, you need to, you need to just, I want to prove to myself as well that I can do this and that I have the discipline to work towards something and then get it, you know? Is this true for you? I find a lot of solace in flight because when I'm not flying, my mind's constantly going, what's my mm -hmm, next interview? Who mm -hmm, am I talking to? Mm -hmm. What's happening next? So are you kind of that way with music? And then when yeah. you're doing this or yeah. whatever you might be studying, you can actually shut it off for a second? Yeah, 100%. And you you still have a goal and yeah. you still want something from it, but it does feel like you are, you, you, you know where you're going yeah. uh, a lot more than in a creative space. And also being creative is a lot about it's a lot about 
how other people view your art it's basically all subjective. it's all subjective what is art anyway and this, what is here and this thing flying or you know doing whatever you want like whatever license mm -hmm. you have a goal and you're set your mind to it and no one can say when you have your license like mm. i personally did don't you really earn think, it does like, your daddy own the I helicopter did. like you can't yeah. do that like no. you have to know your ish to yeah. get the license and uh, this is also me just like um making up for not graduating high school okay <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're laughing, but it is. It's academically challenging. Yes, it it's, is. it's so different. You than, really need to study. Yeah. How so, many hours do you have so far? Oh, my God. Like, so little. How like, many? I don't know. Two, three, four, no, like, five, six, yeah, seven, like, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 11. like around 10. Okay. Yeah. What, what's the. I really don't know that much about Rotor. Yeah. At what hours do people typically start to solo? Maybe 30. Okay. So yeah. it's obviously a lot higher than. Maybe 20. My easy 20, 30. airplanes, you know. I feel like around 10, like, I mean, the hardest part is, you take know, the takeoff and landing. Yeah. landing. Hovering. Um, yeah, that's the hard part. And, you know, I feel like it just pisses me off that I can't do it perfect. Yeah. Like, it takes a while, but I feel like I'm, I'm getting there very, I'm getting there soon. How are you doing with, like, the ATC air traffic control vernacular? Mm. If you've ever seen any movie, TV show ever, you yeah, hear a lot like of like a, Alpha, Alpha, Bravo, Alpha, Charlie, Romeo, Delta, yeah, like Delta. clear for takeoff, runway two, three. Things I feel like, like that. it's a little, it's a, it's tricky, but it's a different language. Totally, and we're gonna get there. I think you know, you just spend the hour, the hours on it, and not only that, but like you need to learn engines and like all of that. And I'm so not like a car girl or Same. an engine girl. You know what I mean? I don't mean? know if you could tell about everything about me. I'm not exactly <laughs> like, a, oh, I changed my own oil kind of guy. No, You're not I'm supposed not. to laugh that hard at that, but thank you. <laughs> but yeah, you have to learn how engine cylinders work, yeah. things like that. It's yeah. crazy. But it's very interesting and it's very different. I love that you do that too. Yeah. How fun for us. How, we'll, we'll, we'll do a flight <laughs> race interview. We could do an interview Please, over next comms. time. Okay. I love that. See, this is where it gets really interesting. <laughs> we could do, you could take me up in a helicopter. I'll yeah. take you up in an airplane. Yeah. We'll, we'll circle back in like five years. We have a little yeah, more experience exactly, on our belt, exactly, right? We're, not, exactly. we're trying to be the newbies but going But I also here. love that we talk about this because yeah. that actually means that now I have to do it. Yeah. You know, cool. now I have to finish it. I it, can't just be like doing interviews about it. You know you're going to come around and have to deal with me again in an interview in the next cycle. And <laughs> exactly. you know I'm going to bring it up. So if yeah. I'm just, if you, you don't remember anything about my name or anything, but just my face, like, damn it, yeah. fucking guy. Now I got to get my helicopter <laughs> license. Yeah. No, I will. You also do something else that I, I, I know a lot of people that do this and it, it it's batshit crazy to me. Uh-huh polar plunging and jumping like in ice yeah, lakes. Yeah, sometimes I do that. We all know that every night, every perfect night at least, begins with a very cold ice bath. <sighs> yeah. I saw a video, and but I did learn something from you. Um, Wim Hof breathing mm -hmm, techniques. Mm -hmm. So this guy who has the most soothing voice in the world, mm. by the way. This is a guided breathing session. Like he has he a voice like a that could be sampled guy. on like a yeah. dance track. <laughs> Think <laughs> yeah, about that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. One, in, yes. two, out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're just building great. tracks. Yeah. If that appears on your next album, totally. I don't need. I don't want a percent or anything. I just want a credit. My next I just single want, featuring Wim Hof. There you go. Oh my god. Let's make that happen. <laughs> Let's make that happen. Yeah. Um, how's but he's good. He's good. Yeah. And it puts you in like a really. That's also something like you push yourself to do because when you're in that cold water it's not very nice mm -hmm. but when you get out of it you feel amazing to be clear we're not just saying cold water we're saying like sub-zero like, temperatures yeah. you're maybe in it like for painful. 30 seconds maybe a minute mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. insane yeah no yeah <laughs> hard pass i like warm yeah i came here from chicago i landed in la it's like 50 degrees and i'm like nope can't uh -huh, do that uh -huh. is that weird when people st i know that you've obviously spent a lot of time in the states but have yeah. you adjusted to when we say fahrenheit versus no. celsius no I so weird no idea where i'm like, like yeah yeah like um <laughs> like 18 give or take rough That's conversion Okay, yeah. yeah. That's not bad. No, it's not terrible. Yeah. It's not yeah. warm. But I'm also from Sweden. You are. You're like 18, you were like, You're yeah. out here just like yeah. in bikinis <laughs> and zero degree weather. Basically, like, hey, we're fine. We're basically, good. Basically, like yesterday, how, how hot was it yesterday? I went to the beach. It was a good, like, yeah, like what it is now, but it was sunny. Went to the beach, had a little swim. Yeah. What is that? They're in a bikini. It was. It was, it was a little. <laughs> no cold. one else is on the beach. <laughs> no, someone else is like selling hot dogs, and, and he's like, wearing like a parka, and she's like, like, "Oh my god, beach weather! <laughs> What's up?" Um, health and lifestyle, and the balance between everything you've got going on. I imagine it's a constant challenge, but you seem like you're getting a little bit better with it. I mean, we all mm -hmm. learn each cycle, each totally. each time around. Is there anything as you get ready to, whether you're coming to LA or you're going on tour, that you do to prep or you need to have done before you leave your house? No. Like, no, you could just leave <laughs> unmade bed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't care about that. Well, next question. Okay. Uh, 
I'm also very, I'm a very messy person. Okay. And like, I'm not dirty. I'm just messy. Yeah. I'm a little dirty, actually. So Are you one of the girls that uses the excuse of like, well, it was clean until I had to decide what to wear. And then no, it's just, the just, entire closet it's just on the always ground. like that. It's just always. Uh-huh. You're just until constantly searching get, for, mm-hmm. this is at the bottom of a hamper But yesterday. I know where everything is. Okay. It's an organized So in, in your head, it makes sense. Totally. Got totally. It. Totally. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think... It's just a law of physics, isn't it? Yeah. It's easier to drop something like this than to fold it. It sure. takes more energy. Yeah. That's what I say. It's, it's physics. It's not me. What I've always respected about you and specifically you, how you handle this, because you do interviews and press and promo in so many different countries, mm-hmm. so many different cultures. Mm-hmm. And I've heard that you, you interview yourself to like prep yourself <laughs> for questions yeah because i don't know if it's just narcissistic or uh, no it's because you're, you you don't you don't know me you don't know what i'm gonna come up with like i mean true. you hope we're professionals but some it's people true. ask wild shit like no, they do yeah. they do that actually what countries do you, uh, i mean I don't, i'm not i'm not trying to put France. you on yeah <laughs> i don't even have to ask the question yeah. i'm not even going to ask the question France. just france yeah. whatever you think i was going to uh-huh. say we'll go with france. france love them though yeah but they're wild. Mm-hmm. They like don't. The interview questions, I'm like, Nothing what? is off, off limits. You know, sometimes it could just be like, one time I was there, I was 15, and they were like, so... Uh, Great French you, impression, yeah. by the way. So... <laughs> <laughs> what would you bring to a uh, desert island? Uh, yeah. Water or a dildo? And you're just like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> but they say it in this voice. Yeah, and they're like, so what would love you... Love our what priests, we love our French yeah. people. We're just... <laughs> you guys have the most monotone, not a care in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah, so the uh, the building fell down. And yeah. Like, what a what? dildo. I'm like, I'm 15. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you could have given me a thousand guesses of what you were going to say in this interview. <laughs> and the French accent of that yeah. word, <laughs> not one of them. Not one of them. So, yeah, but it's, it's fun. Honestly, it's hard to... to it's hard to shock me with something because I'm a very open person and like I don't feel like I have anything to hide or like, you know, I have nothing to like. You're very Sometimes when it's like, oh, you pull pull your pants down, like, haha, look, I do. <laughs> it's a saying, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. See where yeah. this interview is, yeah. the direction is going. But no, I, I think um, I'm not scared of confrontation either. Mm-hmm. So, no, I mean, your activism yeah. too. I mean, it speaks for itself. Uh, you're very intentional with your words. Always thank. admired that. Oh, thank you. Very honest, thank very you, open. You. you know, it's, it's, you're not hiding anything. No, I'm not. I can tell you right now. I'm sitting yeah. right next to her. She, yeah. When she said that I'm <laughs> stupid for flying the easy airplane <laughs> versus the helicopter, she meant it. <laughs> I, I felt it in the air. I could taste it. Zara can't tame her. Yes. The album on the way. The Who knows? On the way. Sometime between now and December 31st. Yeah. But definitely this year. Definitely this year. I would say after summer. After summer. Be, be ready. You're giving me yeah. a, more of a window than you've given some other people. I appreciate that. I know. That. I know. I'm like starting to... Is it because you feel bad about the airplane thing? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> see, well, see, yeah. I, was th- I think it's like... I don't want to say month because... Uh, I honestly don't know no, yet. No, of course, of course, But of I course. think, I think after, like, early, early fall. Yeah. Yeah, I'll okay. give that to you. <laughs> What's up? Thank you for that. I appreciate that. No worries. Zara Larson, I'm a fan from back in the day. I'm still a fan. I'm excited to see this album. Thank number you. four, international yeah. release. Yeah. Congratulations on everything. Thank Seriously. you. Thank Thanks. you so much. I'm, I don't know. I never know how to end this. We just kind of, like, <laughs> stare at the camera. <laughs> awesome. Thanks.